morning. I'm Casey. This is Keystone Curiosity, where we talk about all things unique to the state of Pennsylvania. Today's episode is going to be about Hawk Mountain Sanctuary. Incorporated in 1938, Hawk Mountain Sanctuary is located just north of Hamburg on the Blue Mountain Ridge of the Appalachian Mountains. Previously known as North Mountain due to its relocation relative to South Mountain across the Lehigh Valley, Hawk Mountain Sanctuary sits on over 13,000 acres of protected lands. Though it was not always this way, the openness of the top of the ridge offered a clear line of sight for miles, making it a common spot for bird hunters. These hunters had been incentivized in 1929 when the PA Game Commission had opened up a bounty on the Northern Ghost Hawk, a medium-sized raptor that had been deemed a pest due to their preying upon smaller livestock, poultry in particular. The $5 bounty, which is worth about $90 today, made a poor combination with the fact that most hunters could not tell the difference between a ghost hawk and a peregrine falcon. This resulted in the death of thousands of birds. The rumors of the indiscriminate killing eventually reached Philadelphia, where a man by the name of Richard Poe heard them in 1932. He decided to see for himself. What he discovered was the carnage of owls, eagles, hawks, nearly anything with feathers. Poe would take photographs and write about his findings in bird lore, which was the predecessor to the Autobot. Here, the ornithological community could see what had been occurring on the North Mountain for the past few years. This was brought to an end by the efforts of Rosalie Edge. Edge was a suffragist and a conservationist from New York. When she learned from Poe that the Audubon Society had been unable to raise enough money to purchase the property, she acted. In June of 1934, she signed a contract leasing over 1,300 acres of the ridgeline. Here, she started the world's first sanctuary for birds of prey. She hired caretakers Maurice and Irma Braun to protect the land and keep the hunters away. She established Hawk Mountain Sanctuary as a non-profit organization shortly after changing the name of the mountain to what it is known as today. Edge fully purchased the land for $2,500 after leasing it for two years, using money from her own pocket. She then deeded the land to the sanctuary in perpetuity, thus protecting the migrating route of the birds forever. The sanctuary today aims at conserving birds of prey worldwide, acting as a model observation, research, and educational facility for the ornithological community. They hold lectures, workshops, and events both on and off-site to educate the public on the research they conduct and to inspire interest in the next generation of conservationists. The Ecopian Center for Conservation Learning was opened in 2002 thanks to the generous donation of Sarkis Ecopian. Here, Hawk Mountain Sanctuary hosts internships for students from all over the world learning biology, ornithology, and various environmental science fields. Since the end of World War II, the sanctuary has taken counts of all the raptors that pass through the grounds on their migration routes. This count, which is updated daily and proudly displayed here at the sanctuary, is the longest running record of raptor migrations across the entire world. The birds are identified and kept track of for research purposes on the migration patterns of the raptors across North America. On October 8, 1992, they counted their one millionth raptor. The sanctuary has received recognition outside of their research as well, being designated as a national natural landmark in 1965 and was recently added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2022. Hawk Mountain Sanctuary welcomes more than 60,000 visitors every year and offers just over eight miles of hiking trails with varying difficulties. One of these trails to the South Overlook is a mere 500 yards from the visitor center and is even handicap accessible. Being at about an hour and a half away from both Westchester and Wilkes-Barre, Hawk Mountain Sanctuary is an easy day trip away from anybody who has an interest in hawks, eagles, and the birds of North America. That's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As per the usual, if you have any suggestions to where you'd like to see me go next, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But in the meantime, hit that like and subscribe so that you can receive notifications about anything else near Hawk Mountain Sanctuary or all across the state of Pennsylvania itself. In the meantime, though, y'all have a good one.